Yes, um, when I was diagnosed about eight years ago uh, by my staff here at the Berkshire Center, which has been here for 25 years, I, uh, it became a special interest for myself to figure out how I can help these students to understand themselves and to um, basically uh, be able to transition into real life. Now, one of the things, one of the things that uh, I see with with what you're doing is you're you, uh, you're basically saying, be, given given the the rather large numbers that we're dealing with now of children on the spectrum that are now transitioning into adulthood, you're actually mentoring these students and and getting them uh, through college. Are you helping the, getting them into college as well? Right. Um. Well, about half of our students have gone to college and had difficulty because they have difficulty in the dorm or with executive functioning skills. They might produce a wonderful paper, but they don't hand it in or they can't show up for class. And they, have, uh, they won't go for or they need more than the, uh, learning, different, uh, the learning disabilities uh, programs that the colleges have. So the other half are coming directly from high school and uh, or special needs programs. And uh, these students are in need of um, a specialized curriculum because part of the problem is that they don't even understand what their Asperger's is themselves. So if you don't know what sensory issues you have or what executive functioning difficulties you have, because uh, these kids are so intelligent that they mask a lot of this, and their parents will say, well, he's genius in this area, and yes, he is, but if he doesn't know the social thinking skills or the executive functioning skills, or the behavior at the water cooler like we talk about if they're trying to get a job or an internship, then they can be dysfunctional even though they're, they get a BA at, at a university or something. Now, you've said that you were diagnosed uh, just eight years ago. So did you run into these difficulties as you were progressing through your secondary education, or, or did you... Um, did you uh, find that that you were able to do just fine going through your own uh, your own college education? Well, yeah, I would be one of those students who just sort of just got by because I looked pretty neurotypical and I didn't have any major social dysfunction. I did, I mean, I was very quiet, but I basically was able to do my work and get it done, and I was somewhat organized in my um, personal uh, with my personal hygiene and all that stuff. So, but I had difficulty with my executive functioning uh, skills with the, my classes. Like, I didn't know how to write a paper. I would just write it all at one time the last night before the, it was in, and I would pass with a B. So I figured out I must be pretty smart because I got by without a lot of really knowing what the hell I was doing, excuse my language, but that's the, that's the real point. And, um, and I think these students uh, sometimes can mask a lot of, their difficulties, and um, they get by. But in my life, I ran into a lot of social difficulties, and a lot of us have to be in charge in order to make it because we can't work for other people because we have a lot of social um, differences. And it, it definitely affected my marriage and my relationship with my children, which I've really turned this around in, unbelievably in the last eight years. I mean, I was there doing all the things I should do, I wasn't in connection with them in, a, in an emotional way. And as you know, people on the spectrum also have difficulties, mental health issues, because it, it over, you know, the anxiety and the depression and other things come in because we, because we are so unsuccessful in our social relationships. It hurts us in the office or, at, you know, in our relationships. So, you know, you can become chronically depressed or anxious and stuff, and of course, then they start to isolate as young adults when they're getting to their late 20s, even if they have a degree, because they don't, they keep being unsuccessful in, in many ways. So did you uh, benefit from a college program uh, similar to what you've founded? or um... No, I didn't. But what I did is I did just about everything I could do to find, you know, every kind of um, therapy and things like that. So I found the right answers. And when I was diagnosed, it was really clear that this is... Then I started reading the books of my compatriots, like Stephen Shore and others that are on our National Professional Advisory Board. And I started to apply those because I'm smart enough as an adult and I'm motivated to change. I started to apply all the uh, concepts to 
to myself and change things intentionally. And this is our goal of our program, for our students to see and accept who they are as being for good purpose. They weren't made defective. They, were, they have a, different, a learning difference. I like to say they're Apple computers in an IBM world. And what I mean by that is they have a different learning system. They're not defective or disabled. They just learn differently than most people. And the problem is it's a social interface between us and the neurotypical world. They have got to learn to adjust and be flexible and learn new skills. And it's like the neurotypical world speaks English and we speak Chinese. We have to learn English. We don't have to change our, our beautiful parts of our Asperger's and autism are very beautiful. We're very smart and smarter than the average person in many ways. But we don't fit in, and it's not our prob fault. It's just that we are different. And so we have to learn to accommodate. And, and getting the students to see that analogy and, and helps to relieve them of this because a lot of them, they've had their parents have done wonderful things with them, but they have been slipshod here or there. We might have a good teacher mentored you in fifth grade and then a horrible one in sixth grade who sort of brought your self-esteem down and then maybe a good therapist, maybe not. So, And the parents have tried everything, and they've gone, you know, they've misdiagnosed most of these kids until they're, you know, in their teens or whatever. So it becomes a real problem, and it takes on a, an extra problem, you know, the depression and all the other things on top of it, which mask a lot of the symptoms. And these kids, you know, are very inflexible to begin with, so they don't want to try new behaviors right. to change. So coming to term, helping uh, college students co going into college, uh, going into adulthood, coming to terms with their Aspergers or their autism is really the key to success. Would, would you agree with that? Yes, that's how you unlock the door. And then when you get in there, then you shift because if they get to can reframe their experience from school and they can move on, then if they have the mechanism, it's sort of like teaching someone to fish rather than giving them a fish. They need to know how to get what they need successfully. How do I get relationships? How do I keep them? How do I have a job? How do I, how do I change? How do I get advice? And how do I partner with other people to get what I need? And so our curriculum is very specific. We have theory of mind classes, sensory integration, uh, reframing process, uh, social thinking, we do all of these various areas on top of them going to college or being in a vocational or career internship. And they're doing community service and living and learning independent living skills and doing budgeting, banking, having uh, you know an advisor who helps them with all of these things. So it's, a, it's very labor intensive, but we believe that if we can move them at least, you know, even 15 or 20 degrees in another direction and we put embed these core skills into them, they are like elephants, they remember them, and they come back to them after they bump into enough walls. And they say, well, if I just do that, then I'll, I know that works, and they told me it, then they go back to it. And they don't always get it right away, but they do, most of them get it, come back to it, and they do it.